Thanks so much, Mel. It seems everybody is turning to baked goods right now <laughs> yeah. as the ultimate comfort food. And we're going to up your baking game mm -hmm. with a sourdough starter like never before. We welcome, okay, chef and sourdough bread fanatic Matthew James Duffy and his adorable sous chef, his daughter, Juniper. It happens to be her birthday Happy birthday, today. Juniper. Who's turning Happy to birthday. today? Oh, <laughs> Juniper is just the medicine we all needed this morning. Hi, sweet peas. Oh, oh, she's singing the yeah, alphabet. Okay. Good job, Juniper. Nice. So, go. Are we making bread today, Juniper? Birthday bread. You want to tell them what you're making? You want to put some flour? <laughs> care what you are. You are a bread maker today. Water. <laughs> She's so sweet. So how do we get to becoming a great baker like you, my friend? What do we need? Uh, so a couple things that you need to do. Um, be patient. So I have a sourdough starter here. Um, it's about seven years old, but you can start your own. It's pretty simple. Um, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> how do you start your own? Yeah, how do you start that? Because that's a bit of a so project. What, yeah. what this actually is, is um, flour and water that's mixed together and it starts to ferment. So much like any kind of sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha, even winemaking, uh, there's natural yeast that's, that's produced inside yeah. the flour. Um, and it starts to ferment, it starts to smell a little bit. And what we're trying to do is develop a culture of lactobacillus which is lactic acid. So if you think of a uh, yogurt type of smell, you have lactic acid and acetic acid. One smells like vinegar, one smells like yogurt, and you're trying to balance the two. Okay, sorry, <laughs> Juniper is so distracting. Yeah. I love her, she's so busy. Now you said it is a tradition to name your sourdough starter. So can I ask, what is the name of your sourdough? So this is uh, Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. 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 Okay. I don't, people always ask me where the name came yeah. from. I have no idea. He was probably on. It was on. It was. The, it was on the radio or something when the when the culture was born. And then I don't really know. You know why? Luckily, your yeast is small and crumble, so you don't confuse them with cross buns. <laughs> exactly. Have... Perfect. Just go with it. Too. Okay. Okay. So what do we do next? We have our starter. How long does it take to make your starter? Okay. So when you start from a brand new starter, uh, it takes about five to seven days before it's active enough to make bread with. Okay. It should look like this, nice and bubbly and ripe. Um, if you have a neighbor that bakes sourdough bread. <laughs> Bossy sous yep. chef. Yeah. She's so If you have a neighbor that cool. makes bread, you could ask them. You could also ask a local bakery, and that'll sort of jumpstart the process. Okay. I think just okay. about everyone on my block is making sourdough this week with my starter. Um, a couple other things you need that are really important is you need a thermometer, okay. digital thermometer to monitor the temperature of your dough. You need, this is really important. You don't see this in a lot of uh, home baker books, but a digital scale. Um, I've got two, this one cost me about $30 on Amazon. And then I have a bigger one that's a bit more expensive, but you really just need the smaller one to get started. Um, you want to work in, in grams, not in, in, not in cups or, or anything, because cup isn't very accurate, especially, you know, once you bake a few loaves, then it starts off with one, then it's two, then it's three. Next thing you know, your daughter's making bread. You've got a flour <laughs> beside you. There's 50 kilos of grains beside you, and, and you're baking bread for everyone on your, on your block. It looks beautiful. It's so what are we doing with the thermometers and the scales? Mm -hmm. We're measuring out... So wow. yeah, so so we can we can actually do a little bit right now. So what what we want to do is we want to we want to feed our sourdough starter. It's gonna rise, and once it's reached its top, that's when you that's when you're gonna that's when you're gonna make your bread with it. So you're gonna take some out, you mix the bread with that, and then the remainder of it you're feeding it to keep it alive. So I'll take out a little bit of this. I'll put it into here with some flour and water, and then we're going to mix it up. And that's actually what Juniper is doing, has gotten started already. Good so job. we've just. Okay, okay, okay. So let's put some starter. <laughs> so we... What do you need? Just what do you want? Here, here, here. Is it all dirty? Okay. Towel. Here you go. There, yeah, you there want to keep we clean. go, Juniper. Nice and clean, I feel Angel. Ya. Good job. You're helping okay, Daddy. 
So I'm just going to take a little bit of this one and put it into here. Um, and then we're going to have my, uh, everyone says my sous chef, but I think it's the other way around. I think she's becoming. <laughs> we know who's in charge, Matthew. Yeah, exactly. And then we're just going to mix this up into uh, a bit of a... Okay, can you put some, can you put a bit more flour? Bake, see, mm -hmm. you start them when they're young and then they want to get into it and they smell that baked bread. And then they're so proud because they're like, dad, I made this bread. And then they get yeah, to eat it and enjoy it. She likes to roll the loaves around. She likes to touch the dough. She likes to play with it. So all I did was just mix a little bit of starter, some flour and water. I mean, I did this without a scale, but um, I've also been baking for a long time. Yeah. I would suggest yeah. using a scale. Where are you going? Yeah. Here, you want to put some water? Yeah. All right, you put some water. Where do we get more information to get the play-by-play -play to make this dough perfectly? We need the answers, K-N-E-A-D. We need uh, the answers, my friend. Answers. So uh, I've started posting a lot of um, formulas, tips, tricks on my Instagram. There's a lot of great books out there that I can suggest. Um, one in particular is called Bread by a, by a guy named Jeffrey Hamelman. It's, I'm actually on my second copy. It's so used, it's falling apart. <laughs> At Matthew James Duffy for more. And we want to say happy birthday, Juniper. Bye, happy Juniper. Happy birthday Bye. to you. Today you're two. Bye, Juniper. Bye. Thank you, Matthew. Bye. Oh, my gosh. She's <laughs> so, so cute. So sweet. Thanks, guys. It looks delicious. We'll be back with more BT right after this. <laughs> <laughs>